So good day everyone. Um, today we will have our first example regarding the topic uh, stresses and beams uh, shear stress. Okay, so this is will be our first problem at 5.55. Okay, the cross section of a timber beam is 60 mm wide and 140 mm high. The vertical shear force acting on the section is 32 kilonewton. So, determine the shear stress at the neutral axis and 30 mm above the neutral axis. Okay? So, we will have our solution. Okay? So, here is our solution to this problem. Okay? So, as you can see, I just recap, uh, recapped okay? the problem here. So, so, since we have, okay, the cross-section of a timber, okay, is, which is 60 mm, okay, 60 mm width and 140 mm uh, height or depth. So, here, uh, we have a, uh, the general solution for our shear stress. Okay, so here I just put a max uh, shear uh, a maximum shear stress since um, the shear stress at the neutral axis uh, for a rectangular section is its maximum shear stress actually. Okay, so I just okay, this is the figure. Okay, the neutral axis is here at the middle, so the solution is. Okay, from the formula, shear, shear stress is equivalent to VQ times IV. Okay, so we all know that V is 32 kilonewton. So here is my sol our solution. Okay, so here Q is equal to A times Y bar. So therefore, okay, the area here is 60 and 140 and and. 70 okay so the area we are talking about here is the area above the neutral axis not the whole area so this is your area the, the shaded area here and then your y bar is equivalent to one half of the um, this okay so since this is 70 mm here okay so i will just Put, okay, so since this is 70 mm here, okay, so this, this, this is 70 mm, so the centroid of this uh, rectangular beam is uh, logically equivalent to 70 divided by 2, so it will be 35 mm so that's why i put here okay so that's why the y bar is 35 mm okay so this distance is actually uh, from the neutral axis is the distance from the neutral axis uh, uh, to the centroid of that area so this is 35 mm also so since this is 35 so this is 35 mm also okay so Q, okay, so we can now compute our Q or the first moment of area. So the Q is A is equivalent to A multiplied by Y bar. So 4200 mm squared multiplied by 35 mm is equivalent to 147,000 millimeter cube. And then uh, we, uh, we have, uh, we can... Uh, we, st uh, we now compute uh, your mom uh, moment of inertia, okay, which is the I, okay. So, the moment of inertia for a rectangular cross-section is equivalent to BH cube over 12, okay. So, our B here is 60 mm or an our H is 140 mm, okay. So, we substitute the values of B and H respectively, we get 60 by 140 cube over 12, okay? So what I did is I did not 
uh, I did not uh, answer directly, uh, uh, convert this value directly into into a uh, into a numerical value. Okay, so that we will uh, diminish the possible error. Okay, so what I did is uh, from this formula. Okay, so I substitute all the values of V, Q, I, and B respectively. So this is your V. Okay, the shear stress is 32 times 10 to the third of Newton. And then our Q is 147,000 mm cube. And then the values of I also for, uh, I also, we also substitute the value of I and B respectively. Okay, so to make the long story short, we get this value. So we get uh, the maximum, okay, the maximum shear stress or the shear stress at the uh, neutral axis equivalent to 5.714 Newton mm squared or 5.714 megapascals. Okay. So there is actually another, uh, we can also solve this in another solution or in another manner, okay? So we come up to this, okay? So we have another solution, okay? So for rectangular beam, okay? So please remember that this formula is applicable only for rectangular beams, okay? So the maximum shearing stress is equivalent to three halves of V over A, okay? So we substitute the value of V and the value of A, so we get the same answer, okay? Uh, maximum shearing stress is equivalent to 5.714 megapascals, okay? So this is our, uh, our solution for letter A. Okay? And then we have letter B, okay? So we determine uh, the shear stress 30 mm above the neutral axis. Okay, so we have another solution here. Okay, so here, um, so, so we uh, we set 30 mm above that neutral axis. Okay, so since this is the neutral axis, so we we are going to identify the shear stress at 30 mm above this neutral axis. So what is this shear stress? Okay, so we uh, we use the same we use the same formula. The shear stress is equal to VQ over IB. But somehow the computation for the first the first moment of uh, the first moment of area is different. Okay, so the area we are trying to compute is this shaded area, which is 30 mm above the neutral axis. So therefore, the, uh, the area okay, is equivalent to 60 times 40. So we get 2,400 mm squared. And then the Y bar, okay, obviously from this drawing, is uh, we, we get the centroid, okay, centroid of this drawing. The centroid of this uh, shaded area is equivalent to 30 mm plus 40 over 2. So we get 50 mm. Okay? By multiplying the area by y bar, so we get 120,000 mm cube. And to make the long story short, okay, so we substitute everything, the value of V, the value of Q, the moment of inertia, and the base width, or B, so we get 4.665 mm, okay? So this is the whole solution. This is the whole solution for letter B of our problem.